I also want to find some center caps just to help protect uh, the wheel bearings a little bit and keep any water corrosion out of there. So I'm gonna look for something, maybe the original ones or something uh, just flat, maybe some black ones. Or if I can find some universal ones that I could just paint black, I think that'd be great too. What's up everybody, welcome back. Now we're gonna get under the hood and I'm not really doing anything major to this car. I have a couple of parts that I've been wanting to install for the longest time. I've had them sitting around and I just never made time because this car runs great, it doesn't have any problems at all. I just wanted to upgrade a couple of different components in here. The first item I'm gonna use, this is a JDM SIR EF9 airbox. One of my friends had a JDM uh, front clip a long time ago. He gave me the airbox, oh, man, it's been a while, I don't even know, a year or two. And I've had it sitting in my garage for the longest time. I was never able to source the intake arm. So I used, um, this is a three inch intake piping that I ended up cutting to fit. And I painted it black, like a little satin black, almost like a gloss black, just to kind of look a little bit nicer with the intake arm. I'm also going to throw on a 66 millimeter Skunk 2 throttle body. I've been wanting to put that on um, just to match with the intake manifold and to get the, the map sensor off the firewall. I bought a Canon filter which fits this particular airbox. If you're interested in that part number, you need, it is 332061. That's the filter which fits the JDM SIR in, intake box. I of course needed a new coupler. The one that's on my car didn't fit. I bought, these are some generic uh, radiator hoses. These are silicone for a B16 in an 88 to 91 Civic or CRX. I'll show you why I'm replacing mine. And I had an old valve cover that I painted myself. I used some uh, gloss red paint. This valve cover's not the nicest. It has like a big chip in it right there. The metal is a little bit, I don't know if you can see in the light. Yeah, you can see how it's like kind of wrinkly underneath. So I painted it a while back just because I wanted to throw it on and take the valve cover I have on my car off now so I can get that one uh, probably professionally uh, powder coated. We're also throwing on a Skunk 2 tower bar. And lastly, we're replacing the overflow reservoir just to get rid of this crusty looking old yellow one. I'm currently using the 8891 stock airbox. I have an intake arm that I built for it. Same thing I'm doing with uh, the new EF9 airbox. Um, I have a stock throttle body. It's just powder coated gloss black. 
The reason why I wanted the Skunk 2 is uh, I wanted to eliminate the map sensor off the firewall. I think it looks a lot cleaner. And I just wanted to match with the intake manifold. My valve cover is pretty rough. It was spray painted a long time ago. And it was spray painted over spray paint. I just kind of kept it clean and never took the opportunity to remove it and maybe refinish it. But it's one of the reasons why I want to get this one off. This one is in a lot better shape than that red one I'm going to put on. Um, it looks like they always get scratched here from my hood with the mount, so that one's probably going to get the same scratch, but that's okay. I can live with that. And on my hoses, I have the Mishimoto hoses, which are about five years old. And if you look, it's weird. Like, it started, like, deteriorating. I don't know if it's just from getting old, but it has, like, all these weird little, like, crusty spots on it that I don't know what it's from, maybe just the coolant itself or like it almost seems like it's seeping through but obviously there's no leaking. So that's why I'm changing it with the, some that are less expensive to see if the same thing happens. Maybe I just got a, a defective set. I don't know if other people have had this issue in the past but the same thing is happening on my sedan. The hoses are doing the exact same thing and those hoses aren't as old. So maybe it's just a Mishimoto uh, kind of deal with what they use but I don't even know so we're gonna replace those and I see how those new ones uh, perform a little bit better and last a little bit longer here's a size comparison of that OEM throttle body compared to the skunk 2 I have this thermal gasket between the throttle body and the intake manifold you can see all the additional space so it shows just uh, how much smaller it is compared to the 66 millimeter Make sure you transfer over your throttle position sensor. The Skunk 2 throttle body came with supplied hardware. I was using these old screws on this throttle body, but I'm going to use the new hardware with also the mounting hardware, which is the, the hex head bolts. Here I got the throttle body installed, map sensor off the firewall, I got the new throttle body mounted sensor on already, taped up the purge solenoid wiring with the map sensor wiring. Just add it in the same loom. And now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the throttle position uh, sensor adjustment. When I put it on, you can see, if you've never done this before, I have a great video which shows you exactly what to do. So whenever you put on a new throttle body in the TPS, you wanna adjust it and you can see here how that's where I want it to be. At the point uh, five zero closed and 4.5 open. So I'm gonna adjust that, play around with it, check my voltage and We'll move on to the intake next. Now I want to show you the differences between the air boxes. This is the JDM, this is the US. The US model, the mounting brackets are all completely different from the JDM version. The JDM version will not just bolt up directly into the US chassis. Reason being this bracket over here on the US model is vertical. This one is horizontal. This one is actually further back in on the body than this bottom one here. And also this one on the corner is vertical as compared to another horizontal. I'm not going to be able to use these two. What I did, I created this little aluminum bracket and I painted it. We're going to mount it right here, put a nut and a bolt through that mounting bracket. And this one is going to mount to where the relay normally sits on the side of the frame rail. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So the US air box, it'll mount right there. This one mounts straight down into there. And the third one, it normally mounts right onto that position right there. Now when using the JDM box, once we slide this into position, those holes, now this is kind of off because of wiring down there. The holes don't match up anywhere at all. With this one, you can see this one is a lot farther forward. This one, of course, it's horizontal and vertical. And this one is flat there. Let me get the bracket put on and I'll show you exactly how I mount it. Now the box is gonna sit in here just like this. It kind of leans at an angle to where it goes across. And see, I have that little bolt put in there and this, I didn't bolt it in yet, it's not planted. That way I can line it up right there and I'm gonna put another OEM bolt there just to hold it into place.
Here we got all the old pieces out. And here's a look at those hoses up close. I was able to actually rub it down a little bit. You can see, once you do that, you can see the areas where it looked like, I guess where it started, and then just kind of spread. It almost reminds me of like how rust starts and it spreads. But I don't know exactly what it is. I'm gonna get out like a soft, soft like sponge, I guess, or something, and try to clean these hoses up and see if I can get most of it removed. Here's a look at those center caps. Let me know what you guys think. Should I leave them gray or should I possibly paint them like a satin black? I'm not gonna do matte black, it's gonna be too dull. But I put on our window banner that I've been wanting to create for me and my uh, couple of friends. We go by the term Naru, it means uh, to become in Japanese. I've always kind of been JDM inspired and that's how long we've been kind of into this together at least. There's just maybe uh, three or four of us that are really close friends that we kind of call ourselves Naru. If you've seen some of my other videos, I have it on our tires. But I created the banner long before I bought the, the caps. And I like the way the caps look with the gold and then I put the gold on the banner. So I may leave them the gray colored on the caps, but we'll see. I might even just buy another $5 set and paint those black and have two different sets. And here's the last look at how it looked before I swapped everything over. And we got all the new parts installed. Got that new overflow reservoir. I even tucked the wire. The wire? What a moron. I even tucked the hose underneath so that way it kind of holds it down here. Keep it away from the exhaust manifold. I put on that valve cover. This one looks sharp comparatively with even the parts that are a little messed up, it looks a lot better than the other one looked. Got that Skunk 2 bar on. This bar is relatively lightweight. I really like it. Um, although it's not a solid bar, the way they have it mounted, it doesn't seem to move at all. And I really like the bar, the way it looks too. Of course, the throttle body, map sensor off the firewall. And I like that that JDM intake arm, it looks really nice on the car. Also, here's what I was talking about with the mount. And I even changed, I had a different distributor. I put the cap on, cause I had this ugly looking gray cap. Just wanted an overall cleaner looking engine bay all together. A couple parts I'd like to get next to maybe round out the engine bay. Not really gonna do much with the exception of an exhaust manifold. I'd like to get that Skunk 2 Alpha. It's the V2 exhaust manifold. This intake, uh, this fuel rail that's on the intake manifold, it says Godspeed on it. It was on the, the motor when I got the car. And it's okay, but I'm not really a big fan of it. I'd like to get that Black Skunk 2 one, which allows you to use the stock fuel pressure regulator. And I'll probably get the Skunk 2 oil cap and maybe the Vitex solenoid. But that's not anything I'm in a rush to get. Those are just parts I like to end up throwing on to complete the look of my engine bay. That'll be it guys, thanks for watching. As always, I really appreciate it. We will see you guys soon.